నల్లా నరసింహారెడ్డి ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సొసైటీస్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ క్యాంపస్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ జిస్ బోరో ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ టాపిక్ జిలాస్కల్ వర్క్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ రివర్ as a part of unit 1 introduction and weathering of rocks from engineering geology let us continue the topic geological works of rivers a panoramic view of river can be seen in the both pictures what is a river a river is the major geological agent which carries out its work in different stages these stages include river erosion river transportation and river deposition what is erosion erosion is carrying out the small particles of rocks soils sediments etc by means of mechanical disintegration or chemical decomposition of rocks and these particles are transported from the site with the help of natural agencies like running water glaciers wind etc it is evident that the erosion takes place during the young stage of the river and the energy conditions is high during the young stage several landforms may develop for example waterfall valley meander oxbow lake these are all called as landforms and these landforms develop during the erosion process that means end stage of the river however river is a powerful eroding agent and uh, the river erosion carries out its work in different stages such as hydraulic action abrasion attrition solution how a river erodes through the different different stages first one is hydraulic action what's the meaning of hydraulic action the force of the water usually weakens and breaks up the rocks or else when water dashes against rock forcefully the rock breaks into small pieces subject to the following conditions if the rock is already weathered or if the rock is porous and not well cemented or if the rock poses fractures or cracks under all these circumstances the rock i mean breaks into small pieces due to the force of the water picture also reveals the same the force of the waves pushes the air into the cracks the rack abrasion is one more step in the river erosion so the material is carried out by the river wears away the river bed this is called abrasion and another process is called attrition in this case the pebbles carried by the river crash into each other and become smaller and 
we can see very clearly how the pebbles have become rounder and smaller. This takes place in case of attrition. Thus, the rock fragments during abrasion undergo wear and tear, which is called as attrition. When attrition takes place, the angular edges disappear and the spherical or elapsidal stones are formed after a long journey. Solution is another process. The water in the river dissolves some of the minerals which are present in the rocks and involves only chemical decay of rocks. Of course, this is an invisible process and very effective and favorable conditions. So, this is how I mean river aeration takes place. The other step is river transportation. During transportation, heavier particles and larger particles move slowly while the finer particles and the lighter particles move fast. So, a river transports its material or particles physically as well as in a solution form. The transport system is divided into three groups such as bed load, suspended load and dissolved load. Bed load comprises heavier particles of pebbles and gravels which are transported and accumulated by rolling, skipping along the bottom of the stream. So one can find the pebbles and gravels in the bottom of the river or stream. Suspended load consists of finer particles, silt, fine sand, clay, etc. and carried by the river water in suspension form. As the river is moved, the load is also carried along with it. Thus, load is transported continuously without break till conditions are available. This type of natural suspension and separation of sediments account to their size is called as sorting. So, sorting takes place here as per the size. Dissolved load the material or the particles is transported in a solution condition. The ability to transport the solution is of course influenced highly by the river velocity and density of river water. Final step is river deposition in geological works of River. river deposition is the last phase of geological work of a river. Among the different kinds of river deposits, a few can be seen. Among the river deposits, alluvial cones and alluvial fats takes place. If the deposit is spread over a small area but has a Steep slope is called as an alluvial core. On the other hand, if the deposit is spread over a large area with a gentle slope, in such a case it is called as alluvial fan. That means unconsolidated sedimentary deposit that accumulates at the mouth of the mountain. So, one type of deposit may be alluvial core or alluvial fat. Glacier deposits. Glacier deposits are characteristically composed of heavier metals such as gold, platinum, chromite, magnetite, rutile, ilmenite, 
monzite, etc., which are commonly called as minerals. Best example for glacial deposits is withstand wet water rock plaster deposit of south africa is a famous gold deposit for wet water samples deposit see the gold fields which are shown in blue color best example for wet water sand plaster deposit of south africa These gold deposits are formed due to glacial deposits only. Glacial deposits are also found throughout the world, of course, with the more importance of economic. And uh, significant deposits are noticed in Alaska, gold deposits, India, magnetite deposits, New Zealand. Once again, magnetic deposits, Australia, where we can find rutile, bonsite, and zircon deposits, Indonesia, cassiterite deposits, South Africa, diamonds. Delta deposits are also formed where the rivers reach just before the river merge to the sea or ocean. The best example in India is. Rivers Ganges and Brahmaputra, which have built up the best delta regions of the world. Deltas are very fine, fertile lands and valuable for agriculture purpose. See the delta deposits, how the soil is fertile, which is more suitable for agriculture purpose. Natural limits. During the time of floods, the river carries a large amount of river dumps along the course on the other side, which are known as natural limits, which consists of mainly silt and clay, both sides of the river. It is very clearly shown in the picture. See the natural levy, which is made up of silt and clay. This is called actually on both sides of the river. One more which is not connected to geological works of rivers, wind erosion, similar fashion. Wind acts here, see due to wind erosion, the structure appears like this. Best example Natural bridge at Thirumala due to wind erosion. See beautiful wind 